Thank you very much, uh, Lars. <clears throat> Perfect, as always. Uh, and thank you for doing all the formalities, so I don't need to spend time on this. Um, well, it's only my second time attending this meeting, but uh, it is indeed the, the two times since the merger. And I remember very vividly last year um, that we had a very, not only very interesting and insightful conference, but also one which was all about uncertainty. I think this was more or less the key word last year, and I'm really uh, wondering whether this will be different this year, coming closer to IMO 20, so called IMO 2020, or whether some of this uncertainty has been clarified. Personally, I think we will again talk about uncertainty quite a bit. Of course, we have uh, many other reasons, not only technical ones, not only ones related to the topic today, fuel and propulsion. We have, uh, at least from, uh, from the side of technology providers, of shipbuilders, marine equipment, that my association is standing for, uh, we have a pretty poor situation in the market. Orders are down globally by roughly 40% compared to last year. Also, output last year was about down, down by about 40% compared to the peak time. So it's um, quite a difficult period for the builders. There are many and deep challenges that are connected with this uncertainty all around the industry. And I sometimes feel that the technical questions, as complicated as they may be, are maybe the easiest to solve. I think the commercial challenges are even more complicated. And of course, and I'm sure we will discuss this in the course of the conference, there is a big role to play for regulators as well. <coughs> and talking about regulators, we have also one point that we need to look into. We had um, a couple of weeks ago, four weeks ago, the Global Shipbuilding Summit, it's called JICU. It's uh, an abbreviation for Japan, Europe, China, Korea, USA. And it covers, I would say, the top 30 shipbuilding companies in the world. And this, this group, which of course has always a big difficulty coming to consensus, came out with a clear message. With all the overcapacity we have, with all the poor price levels that we have, it's very difficult to earn money. And if nobody earns money, how are we supposed to make all the investments that societies are asking for us? And that we have to do investments, I think there the consensus is really growing all around the world. We need to clean up, we need to do something about our ecological footprint. So, with these uh, two <coughs> short words, I'm really looking forward to some exciting sessions, uh, and I'm sure that we will all learn again a lot of uh, stuff that we didn't know before, and of uh, options that arise, also some that will uh, be maybe not ready yet, but will come and will play a bigger role in the future. Last word, we have uh, just now, yesterday in fact, got the approval for the final, for the last commission candidate. So the European Commission um, will start its work probably on 1st of December. The vote in the Parliament is next week, but uh, I think this will go through. And we have a president of the European Commission that has shipping, that included shipping in her programmatic Very speech in the Parliament. And I just wanted to make a, a word that, make no mistake, this Commission will push even harder that we do our job with regard to what society requests of us. So with that, a big burden, but uh, again, I think this conference is all about solutions, and I wish us all a lot of good talking during the um, break sessions and a lot of good information during the speaking sessions. Thank you very much. Have a good conference.